Welcome back. The general valuations role that was conducted by the city of Joburg has increased the market value of the more than 850,000 properties by 30% over a five-year period. This has led to the adjustment of rates and taxes paid by city residents and has led to objections and general unhappiness amongst the population of Joburg. We're joined by the Deputy Director for Valuations in the Property Unit for the City, Cornelius Menar, and he's in charge of property valuations. He's here to explain how the process was conducted and to advise property owners on how to lodge their objections. Courtney, pleasure to have you with us. Hello, Tim. Nice to be here. And thank you again. Let's just uh, go through the whole uh, valuation process, how it works, and uh, what period of time you took to do that. Well, the valuation role is a process that generally takes between three and four years. In this instance, the city went out on tender, and the su su successful tenderer was allocated to do the job. Uh, they took about nine months to value all the properties in the valuation role, which consists of uh, residential properties mostly, but also business and other types of properties. Mm -hmm. During this process, they also conducted inspections and um, so the property details have been updated on the valuation role, which is probably one of the reasons why some of the values went up rapidly. If a property was vacant in the current role and it now has a house on it, uh, the value could substantially differ. In the instances where some of the properties did not change but their values went up, it may have been as a result of the change in market or there may have been an error. The reason why we do have the objection process is designed specifically to assist the public in pointing out those errors to us so that mm. we can correct them. And what has the impact of the general valuation process been, the outcome thereof, on the rates and taxes? To give you an example, if property goes up by 30%, for instance, the market value, from your point of view, what impact does that have on the rates and taxes that a property owner has, is liable for, has to pay? Well, naturally, the value uh, affects the rates payable on the property. There's two components, the value of the property and also the tariff that is coupled to the property category. So when a property owner has a category vacant land, which is four times the tariff of residential, they must concentrate on those two things, the value and the category. If the value went up by let's say more than 50%, perhaps as a result of now a new building, look at the category as well because the category will affect the tariff that will be used to calculate the rates. Mm. So if the previous category was vacant land and the value was, let's say 500,000 Rand, and now the value is 1.5 million because there's a new house on it, the, uh, it does not mean that the rates will go up in the same proportion because if the category is now residential, it may well be that the rates will remain the same or could be slightly less. Now, what are the typical objections that you have received from residents? What are they complaining about? Mostly about the value. But one must also be careful in making general states statements such as the value went up by a certain percentage. Uh, bearing in mind that the valuer does not increase the role by a percentage. He values these properties individually. Yeah, yeah. The result may be that in a certain area, generally speaking, the value went up by, let's say, 30%. Remember that the previous valuation role was compiled in 2012. So there's a five-year five difference between the value that is currently being built on and the value that is being objected against. So in some instances, the value could have gone up by even more than the 30% that was mentioned. But in some areas, the values we didn't go up by as much. But I suppose the other thing that will concern residents, notwithstanding the gap of five years, is the fact that they've never met such valuators. They've never seen them come to their properties. And they wonder, how does it happen that somebody sitting in an office somewhere in the Joburg CBD can determine the price of a property? That is true. In some instances, it is not possible to do inspections simply because people work and there's nobody at home. Uh, speaking of residential properties, of yeah. course. Um, in the past, we've 
had uh, the experience that probably about 25% of properties could actually be accessed. Um, so what we do is we also make use of building plans, we make use of aerial photography, and what they call oblique imagery, which is an aerial photograph that is taken from more than one angle. Um, it may not be perfect in the sense that the, the photography may be older than today, uh, what we have currently in our offices is only from 2015. We, we will fly aerial photos again this year. Um, the consultants make, made use of their own pho photography, so their photography is probably more up to date than ours. Now, I said the properties are more than 850,000. Uh, I don't know what the exact number is, but of that number of uh, properties that have now been re-evaluated, how many objections have you received? I'm just trying to establish the number of discrepancies between what you believe to be a true valuation or a fair valuation of a property as opposed to what the property owner thinks. The valuation role consists of about 879,000 properties. To date we have received, and I don't have the exact number with me, but it is, uh, let's say, about 6,500. It could be more now because I haven't seen the latest okay. stats. So, it's, well, it's a negligible number, I would, I would suggest, uh, that, that is complaining. But, you know, the impression created is that a lot more people are unhappy about these new valuations. Look, people hear what is said in the media and they see, and they sp uh, see their own and they speak to their neighbours. Mm. And someone says, oh, but the percentage of increase in my property is too much. Yes. Um, and then, of course, the media also picks up on that, or they pick up from the media, and then an opinion is formed. Let me ask you then, because we're wrapping up now, if, if I want to object or inquire further, being a property owner or resident, what are the steps to take? What should we do? Well, firstly, uh, we encourage people to visit the website. Yeah, which is? Uh, www.joburg.org.za. Yeah. Okay. On the website, you can go to the uh, icon there. It is three houses with uh, what looks like a little um, arrow, a jagged arrow. A tick or, or something. Uh, like that. It looks like a... Okay. Yeah, it's exact. And um, by clicking on that, you just follow the instructions. You can uh, go to your property to see the details of your property. And from there, you can either download the Section 49 notice, which you probably have already received. And you can also download an objection form. You can also access the online objection and do your own objection online if you wish to do so. We encourage people to do that because it takes, it keeps people out of the centers and we don't mean by that that we don't pe want people to object but mm. simply we want to avoid long queues standing and waiting and creating and more frustration. probably the more efficient way of lodging Correct. any objection and it does not follow that you have to object once you've lodged right just just to familiarize yourself if you find discrepancies only then can you object I suppose. That's true y yeah. you can object against any property in the in the valuation role not just your own. Okay. Um, but the point that we're making is the objection process is there to help us correct what is wrong. Well, I get it. Cornelius Menor, thank you very much for talking to us and paying us a visit. Thank you. Thank you very much. And he's Deputy Director of Valuation Services in the city of Joburg. So there you are. It's about 6,000, 7,000 objections. The properties that have been re-evaluated, 879,000. So it's not really that many properties where people have voiced objections. But nevertheless, those objections have got to be attended to. And that's how we come to the end of the show. Thanks for having spent this evening with us. And until next time, goodbye to you. <laughs>